What is up guys? Welcome on back to another Copart walk around. Hopefully the audio is really good today. We got the uh, new Rode Wireless Go 2s. I'm trying these out, see how they work with the new, uh, my upgraded Dead Cat on it. And uh, anyways, let's get into some of the vehicles that are coming up this week and we will see what uh, some of these things go for um, as we get into it. So let's, uh, yeah, let's make it happen. Alright guys, sorry for the awkward intro, I was a little distracted, but this thing has sat and sold and resold over and over and over and over again, and I don't understand it, I really don't, let me make sure the camera's clean, um, I don't understand it. You know, I understand that they want a certain amount of money out of this car, but this thing has sold, and the last three times it's sold, it's sold, it's sold for less each time because less people are interested in it because they know they're not going to give it up. And the damage to this, which some may say, oh, it's not that bad, you could fix it. Yeah, I mean, you could probably pull this out, but is it worth it with a hundred and something thousand miles on it with how old this thing is? And it's probably just cloth seats and... You know nothing ridiculous anyway as you can see so yeah I, I don't know man I mean it, it is listed as a run and drive but the amount of work and pulling and body work on that and it's like I said it's been it's gone up for auction six straight weeks and uh, I guess they're not getting what they want out of it so yep anywho's let's keep it moving um, there is a special old school Ford, which you guys got to see back in the day. It sold at auction, but it's back, which I thought was extremely interesting. Very interesting to me to see it back. And, uh, we're going to take a look at it today and see like if they did any repairs or updated anything on it. Man, it is nice to be out here and not have a bunch of dust all in my face. Boy, let me tell you, it's so nice because it just rained. You know, like it was pouring yesterday. It might rain again today. But, uh, yeah. Some of you guys may remember this. Some of you guys may not. If you've been following me for a long time, you probably have seen this before. But this one is a uh, Ford. And it does run and drive the interior. We don't know why the camera stopped, but it did. Hopefully it's still working and we'll have to stop here for a minute after this one and check the audio and make sure we're good. But yeah, this one runs. Oh, they left it on. Somebody left it on on purpose probably too. Dicks. But I made the joke about the tinfoil in here and there was a pipe that somebody, like I was like, oh, they was in here smoking some drugs or something. But it, look at that her shifter right there. This thing is an absolute gem, man. This thing is a beast. Beast. Look at that, man. That interior looks amazing. I mean, the rest of the truck really looks good. I mean, I think somebody will end up snatching this thing up and putting it back together and getting a hell of a cool little show truck out of it. Now, you can see where they clear coat has come up here you can see here it's actually bubbled you can but man you know yeah it's going to require some extensive work i think you know can you even find these panels anymore probably not but i mean i'm sure you can they're just going to cost you a lot of money i don't know i just don't know if this thing is actually done done so to speak you know what i'm saying you know like where people think it's completely shot. Oh, this thing's taped up. Or is it not taped up? I'm trying to see if I can get under this hood so you guys can see the motor. Which is ridiculous. You know what? I could probably squeeze y'all in here. <laughs> I probably could squeeze my arm in here and give you guys a better view of this engine just through the damage. I bet it looks ridiculous. I'll have to see it in post. All right. 
but this one is coming up. It, 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 it is listed as a run and drive. Um, and I know they don't forklift this one around. They drive this around the yard as it is. So it'll be interesting to see what this one goes for and, um, you know, what the uh, full situation is with it moving forward. So let's uh, add it to the watch list and see what happens. All right, guys, keeping it moving. And I got to shoot this Copart walk around with you guys today. Um, and then we have the live auction that we're going to get into. But then, but then, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm getting into a dedicated BMW video. That is right, a BMW video. But anyways, let's take a look at this Ford F-150. It looks actually pretty clean. It does have a lot of miles on it. It does have that three-valve motor in it, Triton V8, 188,000 miles on it. It is a Lariat. Nice. FX4, off-road, looks clean, wonder why it's here, let me see what the loss type says on the sticker, rear end, alright, let's walk back here, I was trying not to walk through these puddles, but I guess I'm walking through the puddles now, hold on, so it got rear-ended, and that bumper is rotted, which tells me this came from up north, which means it's probably got some other rust on the body. Yep, looking at this door, I can see some. There's some body rot right there. Yeah, this is, see, cars that come, and I, you know, I grew up in Boston, so I'm used to this, but, you know, could you get a good deal on a truck like this? Yeah, but would you want to get hit in the side with a vehicle that's rusted through? Hell no. Look at this. No, sir, but... She supposedly runs and drives. I mean, it could be a good landscaping truck. It could be a good beach truck. You know, if you're in Florida and you want something you can take to the beach and don't care for rusts, here you go. I don't know how extensive the body rot is under it. I'm sure it's pretty bad. Let's see if she has any juice. Nope, she's dead as a doornail. The radio has been removed here. And you can see, like I said, it looks pretty clean. Otherwise, the seats, the, the Lariat logo in the seats. This one looks pretty clean, though. It's not bad. But just that little bit of rear end damage, I know they totaled it literally because of that. And I don't even, like some states, they don't even let you get full coverage on certain vehicles anymore because of stuff like that. So, interesting. Well... Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. I'm going to add it to the watch list on, as, on a flyer. Um, like, I wouldn't bid more than 500 bucks on this truck. I'm just be honest. And I know it's going to go for more than that. So, But it is what it is. Let's keep it moving. All right, guys. This is a 2018 Dodge Challenger. Now, this one has also been up for auction. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven weeks, seven weeks in a row, yeah. Yeah, I had to do that for for uh, dramatical effect. Yeah, seven weeks in a row. And uh, it's gone for like 2,500, 1,500. I don't even know why the hell you'd pay that much unless you're gonna like use some of the panels or whatever on it uh, as parts. Cause I don't think you're gonna fix this one to be honest. It's, uh, it's pretty badly smashed, man. I'm guessing maybe people think they can just replace the fender but if you look down here like the whole bottom is pushed in you you'd have to put this thing on a, a significant frame machine for a while man the suspension's done sure the axle's probably shot you know the rear end's all busted up i mean and they don't want to let it go which i get it i mean there look even this panel's all busted like i i oof. I don't know what they think they're going to get out of this car. And, you know, it consistently can is consistently getting reined in and destroyed. Like, I don't know what the company thinks they're going to get out of this, but it's been up for seven weeks in a row. It's up again this week. So I thought I would show it to you guys. You guys have seen this before. We did cover it, like, I don't know, two months ago. But, uh, yeah, one of these days, whoever, you know, the insurance company that's selling it will let it go. But right now they're... They're like, screw that, man. They don't want to let it go. And, yeah, that is what it is. 
All right, guys, here's one for you. Now, you guys say I never cover Hondas or I never cover, you know, basic cars. But here you go. Here's a Honda Civic that runs and drives with 181,000 miles on it. It's got a busted fender up here in the front. That's why it was totaled. All right. The back plastic bumper has a little damage and stuff to it, but I didn't see any significant damage to the metal in the rear. So who knows? Uh, it does run and drive. Um... Let's take a look at the interior. It's something that's still, you know, th even a car like this, right? Because it's a Honda Civic, it's gonna sell for like insane money. Insane money. Oh, it's got dog hair and stuff all on it. It's cool. Dead as a doornail. It smells a little bit like ass, but. Yeah. There you Honda guys go that say I never show you guys a Honda. And I know you're going to say, well, you had to show this one, TK. Yeah, man, I got to show what's available. <laughs> I got to show what's available. Damn it, man. Let me live, man. Let me let me live. Oh, all right. Let's go back up the line and see what else we got out here today. I know you guys are like, that's some BS, TK. That's some BS, TK. I know, I know, I know. I know. This Cadillac's been up for sale for a few weeks, too. This um, CTS with the strut pushing all the way out the fender. Oof. Yeah, they rolled that one too. It was bad. Look, the, look, at, look, at, look at the struts are shooting out on both sides. Reverse camber. <laughs> Reverse camber. Man, I've never seen the dirt. I really didn't pay attention to really look at it like this, but look. Look at the dirt shoved in up here in the door frame. Jesus. Can you say it with me? That one is completely smashed. Done. All the way done. All right. Now, this Mercedes did sell. Uh, I'm guessing they didn't pick it up yet. You guys saw that, what, a week, two weeks ago? Them storage fees will add up, man. They definitely add up. All right, let's look and see what else we have this week. I know you got. I know when I show you this next one, you're gonna be like, "No, don't." You have no worries. I'm not buying it. I'm just showing it to you. I've learned my lesson with these damn Volkswagens, all right? I'm not doing it. All right, here we go. Look at this little Volkswagen Passat. It was a start. Now it's a net end. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't run. But it was a start. It did start its life here as a start with 162,000 miles on it. It's got a flat tire. I don't know what. Two flat tires down like two flat tires. Whew. I don't know what uh, what caused this. Oh, it's a manual. That's something you don't normally see. I got to be honest about that. I have not seen a manual Passat in who knows how long. Five-speed manual. It's pretty clean in here, too. Nope, not doing it. Sunroof is open. That's enough. You know, it's popped up. Maybe rain's not getting in there, but that's I'm good enough. That nah. Nope. Hell no. Nope. Nope. Not me. Not doing it. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. All right, guys. Another vehicle that you guys have been interested in and that you guys have seen. Uh, it's literally gone up several weeks. Uh, I'm guessing they want a higher dollar value for it. That Chevy C10. It's still here. Uh, it's coming back up again this week, which I find interesting. You know, it's gone for $14,000, $12,000, um, and that's what it's gone every single week, and it keeps coming back up. So I'm guessing they want a much higher dollar value for it, as is this Triumph. I took one shot at this, and uh, evidently they just want way too much money for it, which I can understand because it looks kind of clean, except for the paint on the hood where it's 
literally splitted and rusted and bubbling under the paint. But, I mean, I get it. I understand why they want what they want for these vehicles, but uh, I just don't think they're going to get it. But that's just me. Uh, we're not going to waste our time on this Camaro because it's, you know, trash. Um, it caught a deer, as you can see the fur in the front. It's a RS, and it totaled it just from hitting a deer. I know. Now this I am interested in. This is a Chevy Silverado High Country. Now this, last I checked, this was what a 16? It's a 15. It was a 15. All right. So this is a 15 Chevy Silverado High Country. Basically all the options, all the stuff you could get into it that you would want on it. Now I'm guessing it got hit in the back because I can see the bed is a little bowed this way. Now that's not horrible. And to be honest, ooh, I can see this window's busted. They taped it up, all right, with duct tape. That's cool to protect it. You can see the glass and stuff down there. Huh, I'm guessing something from the bed must have popped up and hit the window. But for real, for real, I mean, I see the buckle there from where the uh, bumper bent down. The frame has got to be bent because I don't see how you total this truck with just that. I don't see it. I would literally just pull this shit out and drive it. Like I, it's a four by four. Like I would literally tie, I would put some, a hook on here. I mean, I guess you would replace the bumper. I could replace the bumper, I guess. Take the sensors out if you can save them. Replace the bumper, pull out the dent down there, get a, see if you can get a body guy to do it. Take the bed off, see if you can straighten out, like if the frame is buckled, which we're going to look over here. I don't think I'll be able to see it, but I'll give it a look. I couldn't tell you. But my guess is the frame has a little kink in it somewhere. This thing is dead, dead. But let's look at the interior. God, man. See, this is why, this is why I'm so happy with the build that we're doing now with the, with the Suburban and the, and the Tahoe. Um, the older Tahoe, newer Suburban build that I'm doing. And some people told me, oh, the older motor from the Tahoe is not going to fit in that new Suburban. Yeah, okay. Keep talking. <laughs> Look at this, man. This thing has like every friggin' option, man. You got the pedals, track control, rear light, parking, lane departure. Damn, this thing's got every friggin' feature. And it's got a sunroof. Wow, this thing is beautiful, man. I wonder if it's got the 6.2 or the 5.3. It also has the, the four low, four high, two wheel drive, trailer brake. I need one of those for my uh, trucks now. Got the high country logo on the headrest. This thing is not crazy, man. Now, I know someone's going to say, TK, this is clickbait. You can't say that, but I can. It's currently up at auction right now, and it is uh, $1,150. That's what this is right now. Now, is it going to go for more? Of course it is. I'm not stupid. But right now, it's $1,150. So... I'm going to post it probably as a thumbnail for today's video because, <laughs> you know, views. But anyways, I mean, at least I'm honest. Some people just be clickbaiting the shit out of you for no reason. Oh, they just make up stuff. At least I'm posting what the vehicle is actually going for at the time that I post it. All right, 2015. It does have the 6.2 in it. Look at that, man. 6.2 liter, so it's got the bigger engine. I like that, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, 6.2 liter. Yes. Yes. This thing is good to go, man. Like, I literally would just... I don't care if it cost me a couple grand. Like, if you could get this for the right price, massively discounted, and then just fix the... Man. 
We got a good truck, and this is before they went to the ugly new design. Ooh, is the paint bad there? Yeah, I guess it scraped something here. The truck, this truck must have went under something. Yeah, it hit something here too. So maybe they went under something and somebody hit them in the rear. The rest of the truck looks good. I would just fix that paint. I would legit just try to pull that bed out and fix it, do some body work to it, paintless dent repair if possible. Tires look good. This thing looks absolutely awesome. Huh. Well, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section down below. I think that this one will make a good truck for somebody for sure especially the high country it's clean well let me know what you guys think and we'll keep it on moving boy the wind out here is no punk today man i'm trying to protect the mic but we'll see if we'll see how these new wireless the road wireless go to handles this very interested to see how that handles so uh, one of the, the, we have one more vehicle I'm going to show you after this one, but this right here was interesting to me. Um, this Charger has 100,000 miles on it. It is listed as a run and drive. I am guessing by just looking at the wheels and everything else that it is just a V6. And I would be right. 3.6 liter V6 on this one. Um, the good thing is the crash bar is barely damaged, which means the frame's probably not bad. You probably could just pull this out if it's crimped a little bit, and everything should bolt back up. You definitely have to replace the hood, but I know you're saying TK is a V6. Why would you do any of that? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you would want to repair this one. Maybe you'd want to use it as parts. It is an SXT, though. I don't know. I thought it was interesting. It was listed, Copart had it as a V8. And I looked at it in the picture and I was like, this is not, no, no way this is a V8. And that's why I needed to come look at it from myself. Uh, I think the interior, did the airbags deploy? Oh, okay, well that's not happening. And I'm not gonna pull on it because that'll damage that door and fender further. Oh, good. The other headlight is in here. Oh, it looks like it runs and drives. It's got power. The seat had some kind of covers over them. Okay. A little nasty. You know, but not terrible. It's not completely horrible. Huh. Interesting. Well, I won't spend any more time on it, but let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. La, 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 la. All right, let's see what else we can find. See if we can get you one more solid, good example of a decent deal you can find at Copart. I'm looking for a specific car, but it might be gone now. It looks that way. Damn. I saw it online. Uh might be gone already it looks that way oh well yeah i think i posted it on tiktok a while back there's the zl1 but you guys have seen that before they're waiting on title for that to, for it to come up for it to be available. here it is ha you guys saw this go up for auction um this last week and it didn't go for a lot i think it went for 550 bucks um but the people who purchased it or bought it declined to pick it up so i'm gonna look at it because if it went that cheap this week it might go that cheap again and i just wanted to see how bad the damage was and it looks like she's got body rot and you can see it there where it split and that might be why it wasn't picked up oh never mind yeah, she's got wires. Look, when you do a stereo system, 
run it through the friggin' firewall up under here. When you do this, when you do this kind of crap, you could be closing your door one day and it breaks that thing and you start a fire and then your vehicle just burns to the ground. It's just extra stupid. I don't understand. I understand it's the quick and cheap way to do it, but got the Jason mask in there. Okay, well now I know why this thing went for what it went for. It's completely destroyed. Sad. Because this was the Z71 version of this truck. And I really, this is like probably the last body style before active fuel management. You look at the rust. They just try to fill it in with some kind of rubber crap. So this thing spent some of its time up north and probably got rotted out. That sucks. The motor is probably still good though, but it does have a ton of miles on it. 260 something thousand miles. That's a lot of miles on this one. Yeah. All right. Uh, I feel that's kind of a sad way to end today's video. Let's see if we can find something else. <laughs> I don't, I feel like I'm shortchanging you if I leave you with that. I wanted this because I thought it looked good in the photos. But this is another reason why you have to absolutely come out and look at these vehicles for yourself. It's the reason I bought the newer Suburban and the older Tahoe. Um, you know, I wanted to just rebuild the older Tahoe. I like this body style, but uh, yeah, it, it was shot. I learned a lesson. I didn't look and I just bid and yeah. I paid the price for doing such. It is what it is. But, huh. These flood vehicles are starting to dry out, looks like. Whew. Smoky Mountain Jeep, huh? I wonder if y'all was smoking something when y'all rolled it. Whew. Damn, that thing is done. And y'all did that too. Y'all straight rolled that joint. Uh-uh. Uh, see, now I love these, these little, well, that's the prism. I thought that, the Chevy prism, I thought that was something else. Woo. I thought that was the Malibu. Well. Supposed to be another, ah, there it is. The Nissan Ultima. So I was trying to figure out why this thing uh, went up for auction and it's a newer Ultima. It is a flood damaged vehicle. It is listed as a run and drive though. You know, this thing only went up and it sold for 1800, but they did not pick it up. It's got 56,000 miles on it. Um, did they, yeah, I figured they did that. Um, it's all buttoned up now. It doesn't completely stink. It's not horrible. It is listed as a run and drive, but she is dead as a doornail. But like, look, even the key fob ring is rusted. That tells you, this is one of the ones from Wilmington. So you have to be careful with something like this because... That salt water corrosion, man. Oh, is this a, it says certified pre-owned. Look at that. Maybe there's a warranty on it. That'd be hilarious. 56,000 miles on this one. Yeah, I guess it really would depend on what somebody would be willing to spend to make sure it's right. But if you got it for cheap, you know, like, like I said, this thing was like, what, 20? something 1800 or something. it wasn't for a lot of money people paid the you know when you don't pick up a car at copar i think it's like the fee is like 600 bucks something like that so yeah i don't know i really didn't want to get too into depth on this one but i know you guys have asked for some more regular type of vehicles instead of just dodges and mustangs and corvettes and you know, stuff that I want to see. Oh, look, as you can see, they pulled the air box. Is it wet? Oh, it's not wet now. It was, though. You can tell it was damp. So they were checking to see if there was water 
in the intake if it sucked water up. You can see rust around that alternator. And that's what you want to look for where this thing was submerged and it was submerged in salt water from the hurricane. And you can see some of these bolts got rust. You want to look at different things and you can see some of the stuff that have, you know, actual steel are rusting. And that means the rest of the car is doing that too. Well, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. Not for me, for sure. That's a, how do they say life is like a box of chocolate? That's a whole box of chocolates. I don't want nothing to do with that box of chocolates. Hell no. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the live walk around portion for today's video. We're going to go ahead and get into the uh, live auction portion of today's video. See what some of these cars are going for as far as bids. Uh, and how, you know, it gives you a little bit of an idea of what you think you could get into uh, money-wise, like how much it would cost for you to spend. And um, I'm going to get into some of the rebuilds that we have going on now um, at the shop and on the farm, you know, the Volkswagen, the uh, 70 Buick Skylark, uh, the Tahoe and the Suburban. Um, I'm going to show you guys just so, like how much it costs to do some of that stuff. So you can get an idea of if you buy something out here, how much can you actually make from it or is it worth you know saving the money to buy salvage repair it and drive it we're going to get into all of that make sure to click the uh, thumbs up button if you haven't already hit the subscribe button as well and uh if you really want to support the channel you can go to tksgarage.com and go pick up one of my awesome t-shirts uh and some of the other branded stuff that we have over there with that said let's get into the live auction and i'll see you guys at the end of the video What is up guys, welcome on back in. We got to the live auction today. We got a couple of cool things popping up as we get in here. You can see what we got here. A couple other vehicles popping up. The big one though, that I think is gonna be real interesting is the truck that we show earlier, which is coming up at the auction. Um, you guys got to see it in real time. We'll see what it goes for. It's at 6,200 in pre-bids now. Um, the fake Camaro with the fake calipers is up again. And a couple other interesting vehicles. So we're gonna let it run. See what we uh, see what we come up with. Bonus time. Woo. Sold on approval. Oh boy. Just getting up. About to get me some breakfast. Some breakfast. Bonus time. <sighs> Sold. All right, six seventy-five. That's a running and driving Civic, huh? That's not bad. For real, for real. So, who? time. Yeah. That's too much. I'm sorry. That damage is pretty extensive. Now this Envoy is interesting, but it does have the 4.2 in it. That looks like just a fender 
and maybe not even the bumper cover, but probably just the fender. Core support is bent a little bit. Went for too much anyway. Mm-mm-mm. An 11 G37, that's got some serious damage though. Mm-mm, nope. <gasps> what? I am. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Bonus time. I can't believe this one didn't get bid to the moon, though. They were bidding this one up like crazy. You know, something like this normally goes way overpriced. Thank you, baby. Do, 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 do. So. That wasn't actually, I mean, it was overpriced at 875 with that damage, but. I'm surprised they didn't, I'm just proud that people didn't bid that to the moon, you know. They normally bid stuff like that up super friggin' high. I don't know what happened on this. All of a sudden it just dropped, guys. The picture, the photos dropped. So hopefully it'll catch up. But that's weird. And we didn't even get to see that. There we go. Here's that Ford Fusion again with the busted rear end. We've seen this, what, seven weeks in a row, eight weeks in a row? It keeps coming up and they never let it go. It's on approval. And uh, this is cheaper than it was last week, I think. Like, nobody's gonna, it, like, they're not gonna get what they think they're gonna get out of this car, man. They're just not. I just don't understand what, what they, I don't know what they think they're gonna get out of that car. Even this one at, at uh, it look, it's 75% damage. Are you serious? Like, and this thing's at seventeen thousand friggin' dollars. This doesn't make any. I mean, it's a Camry. It's a nice car, but look at the damage, man. Bonus time. Oof. And someone paid seventeen grand for that. You know, oh. You probably could buy a nice, fully sorted, low miles. Camry with a clean title for less than that. That's what's crazy. Right. A brand new base model you get for less. Now here's that truck. This is what we wanted to see today, guys. It is up and it's at 6300 I, I thought it was going to go for more money, but yep, there it is. Somebody had to jump in there. It's at 6400 65 Wisconsin, I see you. Let's let's see what we'll see what happens. Yep, here we go. Somebody really wants it. Now I can tell you, the interior of this thing was butter, man. You saw it in the video for yourself. It was clean as hell, man. Yep, they bidding this one up.
6900 bucks. Seven grand. Let's go. Somebody really wants it. Bonus, Bonus time. <laughs> 7100. 72. Someone's going to get it. There it is. $7,200. That good old-fashioned truck went for, man. We'll see what this Golf R is going for, and then we will get on out of here for the day. $4,600 to Costa Rica so far. This thing got 100,000 miles on it, man. Ooh, big bid at the very end. Costa Rica in there. Bonus time. 4700 bucks. That's too much money, man. I'm sorry. Hell no. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today's Copart Walk Around and Live Auction. If you like today's video and you like what I do, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Over 72% of the people that watch these videos every single day are not subscribed. And clicking the subscribe button is 100% free. Uh, stay tuned. I have a lot more stuff coming for you guys in the pipeline. Some different content. Uh, some more videos on the 1970 Buick. Um, some videos on a Hellcat. Uh, some videos on the Scat Pack. The Volkswagen. Just so much more stuff coming soon. As well as more Copart walkarounds. More auctions. More content. So with that said, guys. I want to thank you guys very much for tuning in and watching today. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram and TikTok at TK's Garage. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter if you want over there. It's, you know, it is what it is, TK's Garage. But um, with that said, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.